Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'll be covering my most recent control panel build using Brooks Wireless Fightboard, which is compatible with the PS3, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. A few other devices I've connected it to are the Raspberry Pi, Amazon Fire Stick, a Windows computer, MacBook computer, and an Android phone. This fight board does have input for all the buttons on a PlayStation 4 controllers. And as far as this bill go, the only inputs that I'm not using are L3 and R3. These two buttons on the back are for touchpad and turbo feature. It also has a feature which allows you to emulate the left analog stick or the right analog stick and switch back to D-pad as needed. This button on the bottom is used to activate or deactivate the analog stick emulation feature. Here is a closer look of the back which has the antenna and an adapter for connecting your wired headphones and the USB port. The USB port is used for charging, syncing, and updating the firmware. The initial connection to the PlayStation 4 is accomplished the same way as with an official PlayStation controller. Connect it to the PlayStation using the USB cable and hit the power button on the PlayStation controller. I do have LED indicators installed on the front which currently shows that the battery is being charged. After the initial connection is complete, the USB cable can be removed. The analog sticks that I'm using are the same ones used in the original PSP which is the PSP 1000. I chose these analog sticks because of their low profile and being physically easier to install than when compared to analog sticks similar to the ones used in the PlayStation 4 controller. Two things to keep in mind when using these analog sticks are that one, they do not have center click, therefore they cannot be used as L3 or R3 inputs. And second, their range of motion is significantly shorter than the range of motion found in other analog sticks. As you can see in this demonstration, I'm able to move the aircraft at various speeds using the analog stick. If I was to use the joystick, the speed would either be as fast as possible or no movement at all. The PS button function exactly like it does on a PlayStation 4 controller, which is to turn the controller on or off and turn the PlayStation on or enter the quick menu to turn the PlayStation off. The only thing I noticed that's missing from this fight board that's in a PlayStation 4 controller is the motion sensing feature. I currently have this synced to the Raspberry Pi using the PlayStation 3 mode, which to activate you hold down the first button and hit the PS button. I'll use this game to demonstrate the built-in turbo feature on the fight stick. I do have a green LED indicator installed on the front above that blue light, which might be a little hard to see right now, but whenever the turbo is activated, that green LED will flash. To activate the turbo feature, hold down the button that you would like it enabled in and hit the activate button. To deactivate the turbo feature, it'll be the same as enabling it. Hold down the button you would like to deactivate and then hit the turbo button to deactivate. The last thing I'll demonstrate on the Raspberry Pi is using the two analog stick to play games that were meant to be played with two joysticks. Uh, for this, I'll be using Robotron. The left analog stick will be used to move in all directions and the right analog stick will be used to shoot in all directions. This fight board can be connected to the Raspberry Pi using either Bluetooth connection or the USB cable. At the moment, I'm using Bluetooth connection, which initially I had to get the PlayStation 3 controller drivers installed and then enable the Shanwan clone support for the PlayStation 3 controller. There's a game similar to this that I recently started playing on the PlayStation 4, which is called Ultratron, and it's pretty much the same concept as this game. I've thought about installing additional buttons in these locations, but at the moment, I don't have a need to. The final thing I'll cover on this fight board is putting it in peer mode, which will make it discoverable to other Bluetooth devices. This is the process used to connect the fight board to all the devices I mentioned earlier. 
Similar to putting the PlayStation 4 controller into peer mode, hold down the share and PS button at the same time till the light indicator starts to flash rapidly. Shortly after the flashing start, you should see the wireless controller appear in your Bluetooth devices list. Simply click on it and it should automatically connect. Those are all the major points I wanted to briefly hit on. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment below and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.